We've got a Mark IV Golf in today, 2002, in for the water leak procedure. So we're just going to show you what we've found so far. Uh, so first things first, we're going to focus on the door door cards and door membranes. Um, so if I just put some water down the outside here where I've got a lever bar. So just simulating it's raining obviously outside in the rain. And if we go down to the bottom of the door, we can see that it empties through the bottom of the door. But if we look closely, we can see that it's leaking from the door membrane as well. Uh, so what that would cause is it would cause it to sit on this rubber and then when it sits on the rubber it would then come inside the car. Um, it's not totally soaked inside the car um, but if I just lift up this, this carpet here we can see the colour difference on the underlay. Um, it's quite solid underlay um, so there's a bit of water in the bottom. It seems like all four foot wells are wet. Um, now coming to the passenger rear door uh, so we're just going to simulate the same. Put a bit of water on the outside. So once again, it comes out the bottom of the door. But if we look closely, if we look closely, we've got a tiny leak in the middle of this one here. Uh, but all four door membranes are leaking on this one here. And um, just to show you as well on the front, um, if we look inside your scuttle area we can see a lot of dirt and debris in there. Um, there's two blanking plates under here, one for your wiring, uh, which is that one there. Um, when they get blocked, they can leak. Uh, so we would advise obviously cleaning your scuttle area out and obviously resealing them bits there. Uh, just to note as well, the scuttle panel doesn't look like it's actually fitted properly. Um, so that would be that one there. Obviously we know about the, this, this door's leaking driver's rear door is leaking and um, coming around to the back of the car now and um, we've got a little bit up here and um, obviously this is where the wiring goes and as you can see there's actually a hole in there and um, so you can actually see the cables inside and um, the only problem to get a replacement one of these you'd actually have to buy the actual wires as well and what it does is it clips inside here and it feeds through and obviously does all your lighting in your tailgate and um, so that's going to be a bit hard to replace that one now. 